Alright guys, so welcome to my tutorial and what we're gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be teaching you the tutorial how to make or how to connect your lights on the stand here. So I have a stand here, I'll teach you to how to connect those things. And we also have this light, so I have here is my palette and I have here is my controller and of course the cables that would be used to connect the controller to the light. So you need a very long cable when you're gonna be standing at the very back of the event center if you have the setup okay so guys let's move on 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 placing the stand okay all right guys so the first thing that you're gonna be doing when you are dealing with this kind of uh, things so the first thing that you're gonna be doing is you need to make this stand up okay so here you go so let me tilt the camera for you guys so you can see there you go guys so the first thing that you should do same as with the speaker stand if you've already seen it on the other video is the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna be see this you're gonna be turning it um on the anti-clockwise direction make sure this it is um untight you untighten the the screw here and then like what i always do hold this this rod over here this rod then pull this upward the direction upward and then this one is sideward or downward then you could uh, there you go so you already stand it and you should just lock it just make sure it would not stumble when you lock it you could always adjust it if you're not comfortable with it okay so the next thing that you should be putting is this at the very top so i'm gonna be placing the lights over here here is our T stand, so we just need to put this pole over there just need to match them. So make sure that you also untighten this. Okay, so make sure that you untighten untighten any screw here. Okay, so we just put it there, okay? So make sure that its height is just the same as um I mean you could reach this so that when we put the lights over here it would be easy you could also lock this first so that it would not get easily removed just make sure you tighten it enough that see you can, you can lift everything lift everything like that so the next thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be getting the lights okay.
Alright guys, so I forget to tell you that she also needs a small cable. It should be a balanced one. So you will be using this XLR, so these are their ends so that you could connect them. If you're wiring for power lights, you need to have three of this with an end of this. So to connect them, so this would be our first light on this section. So what I will want to do, so the output would be connected to the input of our next light. So we're basically um, daisy chaining them together. Okay, then that's this part. There we go. Put the output we go to the input of the next light over there. Same thing goes for the end. We're just basically doing this. So just connect here and go into the next one. And that's how we patch them up and then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be supplying them with power so it's just easy to supply them with power we just need some extension cord and that would suffice so if we have this kind of wiring we need some extension cord so what I'm gonna do with the extension cord is I'm gonna be I'm gonna be um, wrapping them up so that this would be um, this would have the, the most stable connection that could be ever connected. So I'll just um, I will just tie them like this over here. Then that would be enough. And I'll be now connecting the power of this here. This would be connected here. So and if I wanted to put to I could also make something like I'm going to be wrapping this here so that it would be um, it has stable connection so the extension cord would not fall. You could do these tricks, it would be more better. There you go. Then we could also wrap the same thing over here so that it would not fall on the ground when we raise it up. This would be more cleaner and a more better solution. There you go. You could also do it here if you wanted to, so that would be more secured. The connection would be more secured than ever. Then we will just connect it. And we would do it for the last light, so that would be, that would suffice. The so would give um, enough security in the light there. There you go, so that's how you connect its power. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> what do you think, guys? Is it neat or not? <laughs> so the next thing that we should do is we're gonna be inserting the signal cable on the first slide that has the input over here. Alright, so I'm going to be getting the end where it is the input. So, we'll just connect it here nicely. There you go. And then, it's not yet the whole thing. We would still not raise it up because we're still gonna be setting up their address. So to do that is we're gonna be I'm gonna be connecting the cord, the, the power, okay? Let me power it down. Alright guys, so I'm now gonna be powering our lights. So so our lights would be powered now. So I'm gonna be connecting it to a power strip. And I'm gonna be connecting it to a power socket. So, okay, there you go. So you could hear the fans bear moving, so that is their address. So as you can see, I've already set some address to them. But we're going to be setting up the address that is according to our controller. So the first address that we should set is this 001. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to be 
using one channel in all the lights and that would be the most effective way of doing it. So to set the channel, so let me zoom in the camera so you could see how it is done and how to save it. So that when the next time you turn it on, it has its own channel. So maybe you could, I don't know if you could see that clearly. There you go. So let me just set the, or the focus, okay. So the first thing you should do is press menu. And then what you're gonna do is down. So the key setting is D001. Just hold it if you want it to go like that. Then press enter. Never, never forget to press enter because that's the save button. So on the next light and the other light, you should, you should, you could also do the same thing. So there you go. So for the other lights, I'll only set the software and set the D001. In the next light, I'll also set the same thing. So down. Down, down, down we go. Okay. Then press enter. Uh, enter. Press enter. And then on the last light, it's also the same thing. Just need to set it. Where is it going to be set again to number one? Enter. And that's their address. So all of their address is one. So that's the basic and um, extremely easy to understand, okay? So we'll now be going to the controllers. As you can see this signal wire that goes from this, we're gonna be connecting it to our controller. We're gonna be going out the controller and we could see the whole light itself, okay?